My next patron question is from Joshua, who is curious where I stand regarding the different movie viewing formats. When it comes to home entertainment options that we have in today's day and age, from DVD and Blu-ray to Netflix and other streaming services, which is better, physical media or digital media? That's an interesting question. I think both definitely have an advantage, and it's understandable why some will gravitate to one over the other. I guess if I have to pick a personal favorite, I will say I do have a preference for physical media. There's just something special about holding the movie in your hand and being able to physically own it. I'm happy to own these movies and always having them available to watch at any time without requiring a password or internet connection. One negative with digital media is that the rights holder can take a film or show away at a moment's notice for whatever reason. That's not possible when you own said film or show on Blu-ray or DVD. I don't have to worry about someone from Sony barging in to take back my Blu-ray of Into the Spider-Verse. I remember there was disappointment that Disney Plus had to take Home Alone off the service in the United States because of pre-existing deals Fox had made. But if you really want to watch Home Alone, the disc is easy to find and available at an affordable price. However, digital media like streaming services has its positive sides too. The monthly subscription fee for, say, Netflix or Disney Plus gives you access to so many movies at a price far cheaper than it would be to buy or rent the individual DVDs and Blu-rays. I have a subscription to the Criterion channel, which I love because Criterion discs are rather pricey, so it's good to have a massive amount of their catalog ready to watch with just the press of a button. Streaming services are also nice with television shows. Remember if you wanted to try out a show and that involved checking out each individual DVD from the library or rental place? Okay, I still check out season sets from the library on occasion, but it's just far more convenient to have all the episodes available on a streaming service. Thanks to Disney+, Plus, I've also been able to revisit The Proud Family recently, a show that's never even been on DVD. Seeing a movie pop up on a streaming service also might give you an added incentive to finally give it a look. Criterion adds new movies at the start of every month, and flipping through and seeing the list, I immediately think, oh, that sounds interesting, I'll definitely give that a look, or, oh, I've wanted to see that, yay. Or a streaming service might add a title you've not seen in a long, long time, and you'll be inspired to rewatch it. I'm sure many a Disney Plus subscriber has spotted a Disney Channel original movie they saw in their childhood and never again, and then watched it to see if it held up or to relive some nostalgia. Now, I know there are many streaming services, and that's definitely daunting, especially when you want to watch one thing that's available on a service you're not subscribed to and aren't interested in. Last year, when I decided to do a character profile on Sabrina the Teenage Witch, the only streaming service where I could see the Melissa Joan Hart sitcom was CBS All Access. I debated where to just sign on to watch that one show, but in the end I simply bought the complete series box set, which was actually reasonably priced. Of course, sometimes rights holders make it difficult to watch a specific movie or show. There was an interesting article I read not too long ago regarding the availability of the science fiction film Cocoon. I'll link to it in the description. Basically, the writer wanted to watch Cocoon to commemorate Wilfred Brimley, who had recently passed away. However, he had trouble locating the film on any streaming service or digital retailer, and it was out of print on Region 1 DVD or Blu-ray. Cocoon is not some obscure movie. This is a 20th Century Fox production, directed by Ron Howard, that was the 7th highest grossing film of 1985 and won two Academy Awards, including Best Supporting Actor. And yet, it's ridiculously hard to find, which definitely should not be the case. While I do like physical media very much, streaming services are a wonderful resource of entertainment, too. However, it's also up to the studios and rights holders to make sure their catalog is easily accessible to the public on Blu-ray, DVD, and any kind of video-on-demand platform. Now, let me know your thoughts on the subject, and thank you for your question, Joshua.